Hello, Kyle here. I just picked up the um, Viltrox VL200 LED light thing. Operation is extremely simple. You can turn it down as low as 20% or as high as 100%. And controlling color temperature, you press down the dial and it clicks and you'll see the color temperature begins flashing. You can turn it down as low as 33K or as high as 56K. I find by eye, 45 is the brightest. If you look, there's a mix of warm and cool LEDs. And as you decrease the color temperature, the, uh, the cool LEDs turn off. And as you increase the color temperature, the warm LEDs turn off. So you actually get maximum brightness somewhere in the middle where both LEDs are lit to their brightest. I find that 4500, it looks the brightest by eye. One of the first things I noticed was 3300K is about two thirds of a stop less bright than 4500. My next test was setting to 4500K, which looks brightest by eye and 100% intensity. And then I went through the different color temperatures to see where it actually peaked looking at it on a histogram or a vector scope. What's the objective measure, not just this touchy-feely crap that artists do by judging by eye? I repeated the same test at 20% intensity as well to see if there's a difference. Since I'm doing all these tests and the analyzing will happen later, I did the same thing again at 60% just to have a midpoint. So if there is a difference, I can have more info. I don't know. And now for the most important test is flicker. Right here is a LED light bulb I got for about $35. And as you can see, it's flickers pretty bad. This light bulb I picked up from the dollar store. The flicker seems a little bit worse. It's also really interesting when you uh, tilt or pan the camera. No flicker at 100%, but that's pretty much exactly what I expected. 90% still good. 60% still no noticeable flicker. 45% no flicker. 20%. All right, this panel appears flicker free. The indicator panel on the back flickers a bit. Is there a difference in brightness between plug-in and battery-powered? Hmm, not really.